guys, Mark aka The Nerdy Punk back again today for a new video. Today is a very special video. I actually had a request to do an update to my Green Day collection video, which uh, is really awesome to get a request from you guys. That's really, really, really cool. The idea that somebody likes my videos enough to request me to do something is, is pretty fucking awesome. So um, today I'm going to get into all of my Green Day stuff. This is an update to a previous video that I have done on my channel. I haven't done one of these in the past two years, so I've added some more stuff to my collection. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, real quick, before I get into all of this stuff, um, I'm going to be dividing this video into two parts. This first part that you're watching right now is going to be all of my extra stuff. So all of my Green Day t-shirts, posters, books, mugs, all that good stuff um, will be in this part of the video. And in the second part will be all of the music. So I expect that will be the longer video, um, so definitely get yourself some popcorn and a drink and uh, settle in for these videos here. Hope to have them both up pretty soon um, in terms of like one after another. So real quick, before I get into all of my miscellaneous stuff, I want to kind of talk about Green Day and what they mean to me. So Green Day is my favorite band of all time, if you didn't know. They are a band that means a lot to me in terms of just like, you know, um, emotion. There's a lot of emotion that I have with that band. I really love Green Day. And Green Day to me is the reason why I'm into music. I don't think this channel would exist if I had never found Green Day. And I developed such that emotional connection to the band. They introduced me to punk music as a whole. I wouldn't have gotten into punk rock if I hadn't listened to Green Day. So, um, I really love, love this band, and I think that is a similar story with a lot of fans. A lot of fans really got into Green Day, and then they started listening to more rock music, more punk rock, and stuff like that. Um, real quick, my story with Green Day. So, uh, the earliest memory I have of Green Day is, I believe I was in fourth grade at the time, and I was in music class, and the music teacher at my school had a poster put up in the back of random, just popular artists and bands, and Green Day was one of them, and that's the earliest memory I have of Green Day, of knowing that Green Day was a thing. Fast forward to high school, in 2012, their, um, they dropped the trilogy of albums, Uno Dos Tre. The first single was Oh Love, and I remember hearing that song on SportsCenter, and really liking that song, and that was the first Green Day song that I added to my MP3 player. For whatever reason, throughout those entire like 10 year periods, I couldn't get into Green Day. I just didn't, I didn't even think about listening to more of their stuff. I just heard a song that I liked, I added it to my MP3 player, and went on with my day. I was also raised in a very sheltered Christian household where everything I listened to was policed very heavily. So I don't, if, I wouldn't have been able to listen to something with swear words, and obviously Green Day uses a lot of swear words in their music, which is fucking awesome, but I don't think my parents would have allowed me to listen to that if they'd have known that I was listening to it. So that may be another reason why I didn't get into them at a young age, but uh, we, when we fast forward to 2015, the summer of 2015 was the summer that changed my life. <laughs> um, this is when I first got into Green Day. I was watching... A baseball video and the guy who made the video used American Idiot. He used the song American Idiot in the video. For whatever reason, I knew that American Idiot was a thing, I knew that Green Day was a thing, but for whatever reason that day something was just right and the music just clicked with me and I absolutely loved it from that very first riff on American Idiot and I had to listen to more of them. And so I ended up listening to American Idiot, the full album, fell in love with it. It's still my favorite album of all time. Um, I went on eBay and ordered a lot of like Green Day CDs. I think I got Dookie, Insomniac, Warning, and maybe Nimrod was the other one. I'm not entirely sure what that fourth one was. But um, started listening to those in the car and everything and really fell in love with the band. And from there on, it's just history. So this is coming up on the fourth year that I've been a major fan of Green Day, and I'm definitely late to the party, but I'm so glad that I fell in love with them. 
So yeah, that's my brief history with Green Day. Um, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Um, in terms of like the t-shirts, uh, I only have like one or two new t-shirts. This is one of them that I'm wearing right now. And then uh, I have another new one to show you guys um, in the uh, collection portion of this video. So enjoy and my bad. I will see you guys with part two later. Okay, so the first thing I have here, this is the only poster um, that I actually have hang up on the wall. This is actually the American Idiot flag. So it's like the cloth poster. But yeah, I just got the American Idiot cover art. And then we move over here. We got all of my other random stuff. So we've got uh, the Treasures of Green Day book, which is like this, this coffee table book that has a bunch of random stuff in it. it has like reproductions of poster art and stuff like ticket stubs um, and it has a little bit of a story of the band I'll show you a couple pages of this here so I believe this was made in the American Idiot era that's what it looks like based on the pictures there so this comes with some posters in it. This is one of the reproductions of the concert posters. It's when they played with Bad Religion. Which is pretty cool. Bad Religion is another one of, another one of my favorite bands. So yeah. There's your table of contents. Basically the story of Green Day looks like it goes up to 21st Century Breakdown. So. Yeah, some cool pictures. All kinds of cool extras. I got this pretty cheap on eBay back in the day. Um, if you're a big Green Day fan, it's kind of cool to have. Uh, you could probably still pick this up pretty cheap. So if you're interested in it, I definitely look. It's called Treasures of Green Day. Uh, I have a Dookie mug here. Nice coffee mug. And I have this uh, wristband, which I ordered from Green Day Authority which is the um, one of the number one Green Day fan sites. Um, and it says love on one side, rage on the other. Of course, a reference to uh, rage and love from the song Jesus of Suburbia. So basically the two contrasting ideas for the entire American Idiot album. And then my t-shirt collection. So, like I said, my t-shirt collection hasn't really changed much since the last video that I did. But, um, it, of course, the one I'm wearing, and then I have another new one in this pile here. I did, I'm having trouble finding two of my shirts that I showed off in the last video. Um, I have a Dookie shirt that I can't seem to find, and I also have an American Idiot shirt, um, which just has the American Idiot logo with a gray background. But anyway, this is my Revolution Radio t-shirt there. Got this Uno Dos Tre, 99 Revolutions Tour t-shirt. It's got all the tour dates there on the back. This is one of my other new ones. Well, sort of new. I bought this used on eBay. Um, this is a St. Patrick's Day shirt. It says Green Day Kiss Me on Punk. I bought this for a uh, St. Patrick's Day party that I never ended up going to. So it still hasn't been worn by me. And I just have this basic Green Day logo t-shirt. Kind of reminds me of, I think it's actually the Dookie font, but uh, the color reminds me of like Kerplunk or one of the early albums. So yeah, that's all of my extra stuff. I believe I also forgot, I think um, my copy of Green Day Rock Band is at my parents' house. So I do have Green Day Rock Band for the PS3 as well. But um, stay tuned for part two, which will be all about the music.